She's missing. No! Well, I guess I live here now. In today's episode, the students become the teacher. Joining them are Karina Popovich, Jay Gardner, Afua Bruce, and Yamile Tucson Beach. Cat fact! Failure is the first step to success. You learn so much more from failure, you'll know what to do better the next time. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Will the kids find me, or will I be stuck in a tree forever? Stay tuned to find out. Picture this, our parents throw up to take us home. We chit chat, you know, everything's normal, it's going well, but then at the last minute, we switch ourselves out with our test dummies and then we get to live at camp forever. That's kind of cool. May I present Gia 23.2. Hi, mom. It worked this morning. Let me just fix this one thing. Before you set another tent on fire. Another? Let's call for backup. What's up, kitty? Okay, so here's a deal, yo. I was making some additions to my robot, Gia 23. Wait, that's not kitty. That's a picture of kitty. Is she in the back eating tuna? Wait, she's been a figment of our imaginations this whole time? She's missing. Don't worry, mice. We got you. Gia, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Drone time! I can't believe this. Ugh, this sucks. Well, I guess I live here now. Hi, my name is Karina Popovich and I'm the founder of Makers for Change and I'm a college student. Hi team, my name is Dr. Jay Gardner and I'm currently a postdoctoral research fellow and also an illustrator because I like to do both science and art because they are both incredibly creative. Hi, my name is Afua Bruce and I am a computer engineer by training and call myself now a public interest technologist, really looking for ways that we can use technology for the public good. I'm Yamile Toussaint Beach and I'm the founder and CEO of STEM From Dance. It's okay to have not succeeded the first time. You learn a lot from what you did wrong so that you can get to doing something correctly the next time around. It's an uphill battle sometimes, but many, many good things in life are. And you know, you just have to kind of pedal through it and, and believe in yourself and keep being resilient. I think I learned more being messy and, and just like rolling up my sleeves and figuring it out to learn these things. I just learned it by doing, and I can see how much I have grown because of it. Remember your engineering mindset because there's not a single problem that you can't solve. We could start by asking ourselves, what's the problem? How do we find Kitty? We would go somewhere that Kitty really likes to go. Maybe deep in the forest, a clearing. Oh, oh. that her? Oh, there she is. There she is. Campers! Congratulations, team. I'm so proud of you all for finding Kitty. Excuse me, I am not out of the woods yet. What do we need to get Kitty down from the tree? Engineering. We're gonna, gonna drop, drop you a rope. rope. Get ready, Kitty. Hold on tight. I knew they'd figure it out. Great job, team. You got Come on. this. Come on. Here's the ladder. You're so close. Grab onto it quickly. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice and accomplished. We got it. Bye -bye. The mice are going to be so happy. Yeah. <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you so much, Kitty, for just teaching us so much stuff. I don't think I could have survived camp without you. 
Thank you, Kitty. Thank you so much, Kitty, for all of these amazing skills you've taught us. I'm definitely gonna bring back all these new skills and use them in all sorts of other things in the real world. Excuse me, I appear to have some catnip in my eye. <laughs> Great work, team. See you next year, team.